Environmental medicine is looking at the health problems in individual that's caused by a buildup of the toxins that we are, we are exposed to every day in our air, food, and water. So the, like the United States CDC, Centers for Disease Control, is now doing ongoing studies to say, what are the level of toxins that is in you and everybody else living in the United States of America? Because we're all loaded with environmentally toxic compounds from, again, air, food, and water. So a number of these toxins that we all have in us damage the nervous system. They're neurotoxins. And they build up in the body and we can have developed then chronic neurologic problems. Parkinsonism or Parkinson's disease is one of those illnesses that is strongly associated with exposure to environmental toxins. Uh, you might say that Parkinson's disease was the poster child for this. It was one of the first chronic illnesses that researchers went, oh my goodness, people could be exposed to this other compound and all of a sudden they've got Parkinsonism. What's that all about? So when I get Parkinson's patients, I'm looking for, I'm looking to find out, do they have an overburden of certain environmental toxins in their body that might be causing their Parkinsonism and might be an obstacle to them getting better. Oh, it was about eight years ago. I was sitting on an airplane reading a newspaper and I noticed as I was holding the paper, the right corner of the paper was perfectly still, but the left corner of the paper was fluttering. And I noticed my hand was shaking and I went to a, a neurologist at the time and they diagnosed me with Parkinson's. At that time, uh, they put me on some medication, uh, the usual regimen of par Parkinson's medications that you give patients over the last 30, 40 years. Pretty much the Western standards, Mirapex, Cinemet, Amantadine. It works generally okay, generally okay. It causes some side effects. My sleeping habits are pretty bad. Uh, constipation's an issue. Uh, tremor comes and goes. I asked my neurologist where I could go to find out more about na naturopathic medicine and she sent me to the college here to Dr. Crinian. I'm very happy with them. Uh, the glutathione IVs I think are helping out. We don't have any absolute data that says they are other than how I feel. It's kind of anecdotal data but uh, I hadn't had an IV for now for about a month. Uh, I've noticed a real difference in the tremor that I have by not having the IV. While the whole range of people being interested in organic food, uh, good supplements, clean air, clean water is dramatically increasing. So our people's awareness that there might be something in my body that's keeping me from being as healthy as I'd like. And so I really see in the next 10 years or so, more of uh, environmental medicine being more of a standard approach and treatment uh, throughout all the disciplines. Uh, and that's thrilling for me because I've seen it a, give miraculous results to people. I mean, chronic illnesses, autoimmunity, give me anybody with arthritis, lupus, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, we reduce the toxic load, they get better. And the blood levels of their antibodies goes away. It's like a slam dunk. So allergies, asthma, all these chronic debilitating problems so associated with the buildup of toxins in our environment and it sounds frightening, but it's relatively easy to reduce the load. You have to spend a little bit of time doing it and some focus and some money, but it pays huge dividends. My goal is to slow down the rate of progression of the, the disease. I'm a believer that the technology, medical technology will move ahead. I hope it moves ahead at a rate which catches me kind of in midstream. Uh, so for that reason, uh, I'm trying to do all kinds of things to slow down the rate of progression. And there's a number of things that I, I have tried over the last few years, and I think they tend to be helping. It's so wonderful to see patients that don't need to be taking the medications anymore. But more than the fact that they're not spending the money on it anymore, their quality of life is so much better. They don't have these chronic problems because so much of what I work with, people having symptoms that they think, oh, this is just what getting older is all about. And it's not, it's not that you're adding more days to your years, it's that you're adding more toxin every day to your body load. We reduce that and your body starts to work just like it should. Regularly my patients say to me, Doc, I feel 20 years younger. 
We're just moving out the toxins and their body works better.